Happy anniversary, everybody. Happy anniversary. Six-month anniversary of yournews.com. Six months ago today, uh, April 28th, it all began, the Detroit version, uh, Your News Detroit. So give it up to you. You're a part of it. And uh, our great uh, thanks to uh, Jimmy and Janine Riss for putting it all together. So I will raise a glass. It is, after all, fall in Michigan, Halloween week, so a little uh, apple berry punch. I promise you. Mm hmm. It is unleaded. <laughs> no, it is, seriously. <laughs> so, uh, again, six month anniversary of yournews.com, the uh, local version here in Detroit. And uh, it's also the start of the NBA season for the Pistons. Uh, the NBA actually began last night, but the Pistons get a cook in tonight in Memphis against the Grizzles. Uh, we'll see what John Kuster and the rest of the uh, Pistons have put together after the uh, preseason and, uh, you know, his uh, first foray as a head coach, Kuster. Uh, new players, Ben Gordon, Charlie Villanueva, and that's what this piece is about today. Uh, kind of the UConn Twitter thing. Uh, that's how we get into the NBA season here in Detroit. Uh, the UConn connection, Ben Gordon, Charlie Villanueva, and Rip Hamilton. All won championships with the UConn Huskies out there in Storrs, Connecticut. And uh, they're all united now. And Rip, <laughs> man, sometimes when he gets on a, a theme, on a roll, he, he plays it up. And uh, he did that, too, when he was talking about the, the UConn connection. Uh, between those three. Again, they all won championships. Gordon and Villanueva, in fact, beat Will Bynum, their Piston teammate, when he was at Georgia Tech, and Rip Hamilton beat Duke in 1999 to win his title. He was also the MVP of the Final Four that year. Uh, so you can read about how Rip goes crazy on that. <laughs> Gordon and Villanueva kind of go along with him, <laughs> but not as bad as <laughs> the Rip job that Rip does on Syracuse in there. So uh, read all about that. Uh, the UCon And the Twitter thing is the Charlie Villanueva thing when he was in Milwaukee back in March. Uh, he got the Twitter deal going, you know. There's my little black phone here. Got the Twitter thing going. You know, he's doing this deal, um, and it was a big uproar. And David Stern came out and kind of, kind of banned Twitter from games. You know, you can't Twitter while you're playing. Luckily for Villanueva, the Milwaukee Bucks won that game over the Boston Celtics, so it could have been worse if they had lost and he had been Twittering during the game. But uh, he's with the Pistons now, and. Um, Charlie had some interesting comments, some, kind of some funny comments, too, about doing the Twitter thing. He's all about it. Didn't make really many apologies for doing the Twitter deal. He's, he's, all, he's a big big thing on it. He's um, all over it. Sixty-some thousand, I think he has, on his Twitter his tweets, that kind of thing. So, again, it's all about uh, the UConn Twitter as we hit the NBA opener for the Pistons in Memphis. Uh, we don't know. Allen Iverson, is he playing AI off the bench? <laughs> That'll be interesting. Opening night in the NBA, maybe you saw Rasheed Wallace. Sheed looks weird in a Celtics uniform, but uh, Paul Pierce did the job on LeBron James and the Cavs. Um, got the win there. Pierce was very good. Uh, Kobe Bryant started with 33 points against the Clippers, so they got that first win out of the way. Also got their rings. They look nice. Well, for that amount of money, they ought to. And, uh, boy, does Gilbert Arenas make a difference for Washington with the Wizards? Make a difference? Um, Arenas had 29 in Dallas as one former Piston coach beat another former Piston coach. Flip Saunders' his first win with the Wizards over uh, Rick Carlisle now in Dallas. You can check that out. Brad Mills is the new manager of the Houston Astros. <laughs> wow, what a snoozer choice. Brad Mills, okay. <laughs> All these other guys out there. You take, actually, Brad Mills was the bench coach of the Red Sox for Terry Francona. He was part of the winning there in Boston. Yeah, you, know, you might as well go out of focus with Brad Mills. <laughs> um, but other than that, I got nothing, you know, Brad Mills. Manny Acton in Cleveland and Brad Mills in Houston. Uh, saving some money there. Uh, her name is Susan Finkelstein. I don't know if you read about her or not, but you can now uh, if you don't know what she did. Uh, looking for World Series tickets. Uh, she was willing to do anything, and she advertised it on Craigslist. So check that story out. Uh, the Wings, did I tell you? Said last night, I'm telling you, I've got a guaranteed victory every night now, I guess, because I said they would beat Vancouver. They did 5-4. to four. Pavel Datsuk finally scored his first couple of goals uh, this season. So the Wings get the win in British Columbia and now head off to Edmonton. Uh, the Lions are back from their bye week. You know, they were gone nine days. It seems like just yesterday they got uh, drilled in Green Bay 26 nothing. but they're back and they're playing a team even worse than they are, and that's the St. Louis Rams. They're 0-7. The Rams have only scored 60 points in seven games. That's the league low. They've given up 211. That's the league high. The Lions are third worst in the league in points allowed, but not the worst. That would be reserved for Steve Spagnuolo's Rams, and they're coming in at 0-7. And plenty, Susan Finkelstein, good sections are available for you. And again, uh, happy uh, anniversary, six months. 
uh, yournews.com, Jimmy and Janine, I'll give it up to you again there. We're putting it together. It's a, these are tough ventures, especially, what's the old line? If you're a pioneer, you can always tell the pioneers are the ones with the arrows in their back. You know, that's my, one of my favorite lines. Uh, it's kind of a pioneering uh, opportunity situation slash adventure. So uh, they've done a nice job. It's only six months old, and uh, it's going to get better as the time goes by on the local side here in Detroit. So we appreciate your patronage. Always like hearing from you, too. You can email me at tvboy at yournewsdetroit.com. And I always give out Rob Parker's as well. Rob Parker is rob at yournewsdetroit.com. So, again, a little of the um, non-leaded uh, uh, apple berry punch mm. because it's apple cider time and fall in Michigan and Halloween week. And Friday I'll have the costume on as we get ready for a big football weekend. All right, so there you go. Six months of yournews.com. Check out the uh, all the stuff, the, tape, the um, uh, Pistons piece as we get ready for the opener, the NBA stuff, Brad Mills. The Susan Finkelstein story, uh, Wings win in BC, the Lions back from the bye, and uh, yournews.com, six months old. All right, happy navigating, everybody.